You're a big NBA fan, are you? I'm a big NBA fan. I actually, uh, believe it or not, uh, play in a celebrity basketball league called the E-League. And um, we had a playoff game yesterday. I, I play for this team, Boston, so I have a whole uniform and the referees and stuff goes on. Yeah, it has nothing, no affiliation to the city. Um, and <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm playing, and it's a very intense game, you know what I mean? Really, because I would think celebrity games maybe aren't as intense. I, have you seen actors in real life? Like, imagine them all together on a basketball court wearing uniforms. Like, it's just... They, they get crazy. Oh, it's, cr it's so chippy, and people are yelling at each other, oh, man, you cold, you can't shoot a three-pointer, and all that stuff. And I just get really, like, like nervous and I just start yelling in insane stuff to confuse them because my, my street talk isn't very good as you can imagine. Yeah, you, so yeah, yeah. I'll just start, everyone's like, hey man, you cold. And I'm like, I like lamps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry up and get the game. I have to feed my six children. Yeah. <laughs> and then the guy who's like talking, he's just like, wait, what? I was like, do you like to drink 1% milk or 2% milk? <laughs> And it's really, it confuses them, and then, then I defeat them when I cross over because they have no idea what I'm saying. Who's the toughest? Like, are there any celebrities who are uh, surprisingly good? Like, there's a, uh, there's, there was an ex-NFL player uh, called Tyrell Owens. Oh, I heard you played with Tyrell. T.O. Yeah, Tyrell Owens. Tyrell, we this guy, he's six. You play against him? He, so, this is funny. He's 6'6", uh, uh, six, six, okay? 6'6". Six, and, six. and I'm playing against his team, and in one, in, in, he gets a fast break, and I run back. And I, all I see is this guy coming towards me and I'm like, he's going to dunk on me. Like, this is the last day of my life. So, <laughs> so I jump up and I just grab his arm and I, and I get the foul, okay, done. Then, next possession, he's coming towards me again, again on a fast break, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna outsmart him. Uh, as soon as he comes, I'm just gonna stand like this and take the charge, and my whole bench is gonna go crazy. Yeah, man, you got him, you got him, you got him. So this is how it's unfolding in my head, and he's coming, and I'm like, here it is. And I stand, and I close my eyes like this, and he takes one step here, one step here, and he dunks behind me. So the whole time, I'm like, yeah, and I do this, and he's just gone and done. <laughs> and my whole team, my whole team is like, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you foul him? Why are you trying to take a charge? Are you stupid? So... I love that you just stood there with your eyes closed, hugging yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, maybe this isn't happening. I'm, look at the size of that. That's like, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, look at that man. Yeah. Look at it. He's, he's... Well, it's your own fault for just trying <laughs> to defeat him. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you try your I like lamps move? Yeah, that's, I should have. <laughs> Onions are nutritious. Yeah. Just shout that. You're I'm like, a real it's... boy. Or something. Else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, let's talk about this. I've gotten to know you a little bit because Big Bang Theory uh, tapes just across the way. Yes. And, um, and, and I've gotten to know you guys a little bit. You famously play a nerd. Do you feel like you do nerdy things in real life? Uh, yeah, um, like I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of Star Wars. I'm a huge fan of, of Lord of the Rings. Like I can quote uh, some of those lines, some of the movies. So when I you can quote lines from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are your favorite parts of Lord of the Rings? Well, I'll tell I'll tell you one thing that, uh, like, all the women love Legolas in the movie, right? Played by uh, the handsome Orlando Bloom. But if you actually watch the movie, Orlando, all, all all Legolas does is basically point out the obvious in every scene. <laughs> so there's a scene where literally. He's doing a 10, there's a 10 minute conversation about the war that has just taken place. And Orlando Bloom, literally, he's like, he looks like literally into the camera and he's like, a diversion. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> He's just so, yeah, but you still love them. You love those movies. I, I love those movies. I mean, I cried when the third one came out. Even at the beginning of the theme music, I started crying. <laughs> I do think, well, I don't know if you, how you feel about this, but when I, when I watch, I, I love the Lord of the Ring movies, yeah. but when I do watch them, I sometimes think they could start saying anything, and I would go along with it, because I lose track. Yeah. You know, it's a little like Game of Thrones. You could just start saying things like, we must go to Bandabar, where the jub-jubs lie. <laughs> Then the corn cobs will be in Sandabor. And I, you know, I don't know. I'm just curious. Do they ever just throw in nonsense I mean, to confuse us? Listen, there are people who take that very seriously, and you've offended all of them. <laughs> Jub Jub is the name of my hometown, okay? <laughs> <laughs>